Brian Johnson, a software developer worth nine figures, spends around $2 million a year on biohacking his body to regain its youth. He has a team of 30 doctors and health experts who oversee his strict vegan diet, daily exercise regimen, high-intensity workouts three times a week, and sleep routine. Johnson's goal is to have all his major organs, including his brain, liver, kidneys, teeth, skin, hair, penis, and rectum, functioning as they did in his late teens. Johnson's interest in biohacking was sparked by a severe downturn in his mental and physical health before he sold his company, Braintree, to eBay. He was overweight, depressed, and nearly suicidal due to accumulated stress and long work hours. Johnson believes that self-harm and decay are not inevitable and he treats himself as an experiment to prove this. Oliver Zalman, a 29-year-old physician, is heading up the medical team hired by Johnson. His goal is to prove that a human being can reduce the medical age of each of their organs by 25%. Johnson's biohacking routine may sound extreme, but he hopes to prove that decay and self-harm are not inevitable. He also founded Kernel, a startup that manufactures helmets that measure brain signals and the impact of meditation and pharmaceutical interventions on chronic pain. Silicon Valley billionaires like Peter Thiel and Jeff Bezos are investing vast sums of money into startups that aim to help humans live well into their hundreds. Johnson's pursuit of eternal youth is just one of many examples of the growing interest in biohacking and technology to improve human health and lifespan. Who knows what the future may hold? Perhaps one day we'll all be able to biohack our way into a healthier, longer life.